We're the Master Brothers. And today, we're going to conduct an experiment to try and figure out how much of an impact taking off the aero wheel covers has on efficiency. Now we did do a similar version of this experiment with our winter road trip, but this time we wanted to repeat the same route several times to get a more accurate result. So let's get into it. So we ended up creating a set route which was about 28 miles long and it had a combination of 30 mile per hour roads, 20 miles per hour, then going up to 50, 70, then a little bit of 60. So there was quite a bit of variety so I think it will kind of get a nice overview of normal everyday driving. Yeah, there were also some uphills and downhills as well, so yeah. it's kind of, it is a pretty good representation of what a normal sort of trip would look like. Yeah, so we actually repeated the route four times, mm -hmm. twice with the aero wheel covers on, and then twice again with the aero wheel covers off. Now, 15 minutes before leaving on the first journey, we turned on the climate through the app, just to make sure that the car was kind of ready to go, it was warmed up, and that the future examples weren't different from the first one because we had already driven the car. Yeah, we even did some driving in the morning, so it was already properly preconditioned mm -hmm. and we just pretty much did it for the climate really because it was starting to get <laughs> warm outside. Yeah, and pretty much all of the journeys, so all four of them, were between 18 degrees and 21 degrees Celsius, so a pretty consistent temperature range. So for the first journey with the aero wheel covers on, we did try a bit of adaptive cruise control but it is really just not built for UK roads, so periodically it would just break and it was it was quite dangerous and actually quite scary. Yeah, it, like it's it's literally slams on the brake sometimes. If there's cars parked on the side of the road, it just doesn't know what to do, it'll just stop you there, so. Yeah, so we only, we did it a little bit, but then we decided that it was just gonna impact the efficiency too much, so then we turned it off quite quickly. Yeah, so what we did to just keep it consistent was pretty much just driving at the speed limit where we could. And then for the acceleration, turning it on, getting up to speed, and then keeping it at 70 or the speed limit wherever we could. So for all of the journeys we did, we covered 27.7 miles and used about six kilowatt hours of energy. For the first two, we did them with the aero wheel covers on, and the first one, we got an efficiency of 221 watt hours per mile. For the second one, it was a bit more efficient and we got 216 watt hours per mile. Yeah, so across the two journeys, we ended up with an average efficiency of 218.5 watt hours per mile. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I think the average efficiency for a Tesla is like maybe over 250, so. Yeah, I think that takes into account winter temperatures and like yeah. we kind of hit a perfect window where it was warm. Yeah. And it like it wasn't too hot. Just the right ambient temperature, yeah. Yeah. So after the first two journeys, we took off the aero wheel covers and then put on the wheel nut cap kit. And if you want to see how to take the covers off and what the best cap kits are, check out our video. We'll put the link up here. So for the first journey without the aero wheel covers, we hit an average efficiency of 228 watt hours per mile. And on the second one, we got 225 watt hours per mile, giving an average of 226.5, which is like eight watt hours per mile more than the other one. Yeah. So it is, it is a bit less efficient. I think that's about probably a bit less than 5%, maybe a 4% yeah. Decrease in efficiency when you take them off? About 3.66 just off the top of my head. Oh wow, that's pretty good maths, mate. <laughs> so there you have it. Efficiency decreases by 3.66%. When you take off the aero wheel covers. I think the motorway driving has a bit more of an impact than on the road. Like, because there's more wind, isn't there? Yeah, That's maybe. kind of my logic. Yeah, we'd have to, we'll do another video where we compare specifically motorway driving versus on-road driving. Yeah, let us know if you want to see that. Well, we'll do like motorway route, then small roads. Yeah, just keep them separate. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and also check us out on Instagram. That's all from the Master Brothers. We'll, we'll catch, catch you on the flippity flip. flip.